Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss use cases of Azure Durable Functions. Now, it's important thing, before proceeding with this video, make sure you have gone through previous video related to Azure Durable Functions. Now, in this video, we will discuss two use cases. So, the first one is this fan out, fan in pattern and the second one is human intervention. Now, in fan out, fan in pattern, let's imagine we have e-commerce application and user places an order for new AC that is new air conditioner. So we will use durable function and fan out fan in pattern to deliver this AC from nearest warehouse. And then in our second example, we will discuss new employee onboarding in HR system. So basically this process that is onboarding a new employee, it involves creating employee record in HR system, creating its corporate email ID, assigning laptop, delivering laptop, etc. Now as of now, in this video, we will just understand the use case in detail and then in our next and subsequent videos we will actually implement the code for this so the first one is fan out fan in pattern see guys fan out it means start multiple steps in parallel and then fan in it means wait for all these steps to get completed and then do something with the results provided by each of those steps so what I mean is, see again guys, we have this orchestrator function that is this is our controller function and it calls these four activity functions. So it may call these four activity functions in parallel or it may call it one after another or it may call in such a way that let's say first it calls this first and second function then it waits for some external event to occur and then it may call and after that it may call this third and fourth function okay now when this orchestrator function it calls these four activity functions in parallel see it may call all these four activity functions in parallel then each of these functions it will return some result so first thing we call these activity functions in parallel that is we execute these steps in parallel and then we do something with the result provided by each of this activity function. So again fan out it means call multiple steps in parallel and then fan in it means wait for all those steps to finish and then do something with the result. Okay. Now our requirement is let's say customer orders AC and he wants AC to be delivered as quick as possible. So what is the solution? So let's say we have four warehouses in cities Mumbai, Pune, Delhi and Chennai. Now our orchestrator function it will call four activity functions that is one activity function each for one city and it will call all these functions again in parallel. So for one activity function it will provide input as Mumbai, for another as Pune, for another as Delhi and for the fourth one it will provide input as Chennai. Now each activity function it will return the city and whether in that city warehouse if the stock is available and if the stock is available how much is the estimated delivery time. So finally we have the results available from four activity function. So we simply aggregate the results and we find the city with least delivery time. So for example let's say for Pune available quantity is 10 and the expected delivery time is let's say just one day but for Delhi available quantity is let's say 20 but the estimated delivery time it might be five days so obviously the quickest delivery time it will be from Pune so again we can use this solution that is durable function because durable function they maintain state that is they maintain the result returned by each of these activity function so guys, I assume you should have understood the requirement. Then the another use case is which involves human intervention. So what is our requirement? So we want to onboard a new employee. So first we will create that employee record in HR system that is we will generate employee ID right. Then we will create corporate email ID for that employee. Then we will assign the laptop to that employee. Then we will deliver that laptop to the employee on his address and then we will wait for that laptop received confirmation and only when laptop is received by the employee we will assign the project to that employee that is we will tag that employee in a project so what is the solution 
so again our orchestrator function it can call above steps 1 2 and 3 in sequence that is create employee record in hr system create corporate email id and assigning this laptop so of course these steps they can be called in sequence and in quick order but our orchestrator function it will have to wait for human intervention for step 4 so let's say we have delivered the laptop to the employee on his address now it may take 2 days or let's say it may take 10 days as well for that laptop to get delivered so obviously we will have to wait for the confirmation from the employee that he has received the laptop so let's say in that case we can send a reminder email to the employee every day and in that email we can include that link which will trigger this laptop received confirmation so let's say on 10th day employee has, employee has received his laptop so once he has received the laptop of course he has that link which he received through email so he can simply click on that link and that link it will generate external event so once that external event is generated then our azure developer function will start running again so again let's say employee confirms that he has received the laptop then only we can run this step number five so again we can use durable functions here because it maintains the state that is memory so it can sleep after step three above that is let's say he has assigned the laptop and it has delivered the laptop right so at this stage our durable function it can sleep and once employee confirms let's say after 10 days that he has received the laptop then our durable function can wake up again and now it can start executing step number 4 and 5 onwards. So again it is possible because our durable function maintains state. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.